Hey, what's good, everyone? It's Tim here, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can make your very own clean gaming banner on Android. You guys have been recently suggesting me to make this video, so I thought I would do it today. For this video, I'm going to be using two apps Pixel Lab and Photoshop Touch. Both of these apps will be down in the description below. So, this is Pixel Lab, so go ahead and just go ahead and enter to the app, and then you will be seeing this text right over here. Press on it, and in the bottom, you should see that you have this menu right over here. So, all you have to do is go, and go ahead and press on this edit button, which shows like a pen and then go ahead and edit your name and make sure that it says your channel name in my case it's Sinu just like this and then go ahead now and just choose for the option uh, the option sorry that it says uh, fonts which is this one go ahead and press on it and go to my font and then choose this font which called 20, 28 days later so I know a lot of you guys don't have this font so what I want you guys to do is to go ahead to the description below and download it and once you download the font make sure that you just copy it and paste it on your download uh, folder so make sure that it is in there so what once it is on your download folder you should actually see the font right over here press on it and it's really easy it's going to apply it to the text so next up go ahead and change the size of your very own uh, text just like this and then go ahead to the background make sure that you set it to transparent and once you are actually done go ahead now and just press on those three buttons so as you can see there is on the top right corner those three buttons if you go ahead and press on it it's going to show like a job list so as you can see go ahead and press on export image and then make sure the format says png go ahead now and just save it to gallery and you are pretty much done with pixel lab okay so go ahead now and access photoshop touch or basically just enter to it and import on it this banner template which i'll be leaving a link in the description below where you can actually find it and download it and this banner template is going to be helping us to just know where exactly we should put our text and stuff like this so you basically need it to go ahead and download it from the description below and then go ahead and just import a any gaming uh, like background so as you can see i have this black ops uh, background right over here so I'm just going ahead and just select it and hit on add and make sure that it is full screen by the way and then go ahead and add a brand new empty layer and hit on this end sign which is right over here on the top and hit on fill and stroke and then go ahead to the color and make sure that you set it to gray so basically press on the colors and just choose this gray color and then go ahead to the opacity and decrease it to around maybe 90 so I think this looks um, just fine so yeah 95 is actually fine and then go ahead and add a brand new empty layer and then go ahead to this end sign again and hit on fill and stroke but this time go ahead and set the color to uh, white and then go ahead to this fill option press on it and choose uh, noise just like this so once you choose noise it's going to show uh, this like thing where you can actually drag basically make sure that the amount is saying one so make sure that you set the amount to one and that's, uh, that's looking pretty good and you can go ahead now and decrease the opacity so the noise won't be like too strong and we are pretty much done so now let's go ahead and just go and marriage down all the layers that we just created and then let's go ahead and put this banner template above our layer because from now on we are actually going to be using this banner template and for the next step you need to actually have some backgrounds about games so for example as you can see right over here i'm going to import a csgo uh, banner or csgo sorry background so for example it's right over here i'm just going to add it and then make sure that you kind of zoom in just like this and now we are going to cut this banner into a small uh, vertical banner so all you have to do is gonna go ahead and make sure that you are on this square or marquee selection tool and let's go ahead and just select this area right over here I think I'm going to move it maybe to the gun no I just want to show the face you know what I'm actually going to switch to this guy right over here because he have more details and then once you are actually done go ahead and press on this pen button hit on extract and as you can see once you are done you'll be having a banner just like this so make sure that you put it below our template just like this and transform it just make sure that you rotate it just like um, I say this and let's go ahead and just zoom it out a little bit and that's looking pretty good so make sure that you put it around here so make sure it's kind of touching the edge just like that and that's looking pretty good so I did the exact same steps but this time I used another game background which is Rocket League so that's looking pretty good and now for the next step you're gonna go ahead and use the marquee selection tool to select the safe area which is this horizontal banner right over here which will be pretty easy to do basically go ahead and select it just like this so once it is perfectly selected go ahead and press on this pen button right over here and hit on clear 
and as you can see our banner is cleared for the next steps go ahead now and just import the text that we created earlier with pixel lab but so go ahead and just hit on photo layer and you can actually find your text on the uh, on the pixel lab folder that uh, called pixel lab basically so go ahead and just press on the text hit on add and give it whatever position you guys like for example this pos position right over here it's looking pretty good and it just you can actually change the position it doesn't have to be right here and now let's go ahead and add a glow effect into our small banners so go ahead and press on glow and make sure that the blur is set to around 50 percent just like this and the intensity is around 19 or 20 just make sure that it is uh, like in that range and then once you guys are actually done go ahead now and do the exact same thing for the other banner but this time make sure that they, you change the color because that, that's actually really important so the color it's actually uh, depends on you for example i'm actually trying to find a good color um yeah green is actually looking pretty good so i'm going to stick with that and i think we are actually ready to manage all the visible layers so basically go ahead now and select the top layer and hit on this button and you should see this merge all the visible layer press on it and as you can see you'll be having one photo that contains every single thing that you created and then go ahead to the eraser uh, tool i'm um, sorry to the paint tool and then once you guys are done make sure that the color is black and just remove all of this text uh which making which which is actually making our banner pretty ugly so now it's looking all good as you can see right over here i really like it and let's go ahead now and just add a brand new empty layer and once you guys are actually done go ahead and hit on this end sign and then go ahead to the gradient so press on it and there's a lot of gradients as you can see the one that we are going to be using is this rainbow one but make sure that you expand the distance between these two points right over here and make sure that you kind of adjust it and here we go so now let's go ahead and change the blending option um i think overlay is the best option right here on, on my banner so make sure that you kind of uh, try every single thing but i think overlay is looking pretty good and we obviously need to change or decrease the opacity so i'm going to be setting it setting it to around uh, I don't know 25% that's actually looking pretty good. It's not affecting a lot of things So I think 25% of opacity is actually enough and as you can see the banners is looking pretty bad So I'm going to be using the eraser tool, which is this one to erase around my uh, My banners so the colors won't be like washed out or anything So I'm just going to erase around my banners so make sure that uh, the colors actually fit so if this actually happens to your uh, very own banner make sure you go ahead and also erase the 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 actual colors so i'm just going to clean this a little bit and i think we are pretty much done as you can see of course you guys can actually do more stuff for example a social media for example you can add the twitter logo and you can add the your twitter name so people won't want the people actually see your twitter uh, social media they can actually go and follow you but i think that's all about it guys for this video thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to go ahead and just drop a like down below that will mean a lot for me and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't enjoy me already i'll see you guys next time peace out